September is Suicide Awareness Month, and suicide is one of the leading causes of death among people of all ages. Studies show that nine in 10 Americans who die by suicide were living with a mental condition that could have been diagnosed and treated had someone known. Here are some more concerning numbers from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. In 2022 alone, more than 49,000 Americans died by suicide, and there were 1.6 million suicide attempts. And firearms accounted for more than 54% of all suicide deaths. Joining me now are Sean Connolly and Angela Cummings from the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. They're here to tell us about the movement to save lives, and that includes the Out of the Darkness Chicago Land walk taking place on September 24th September to raise 14th. September 14th. I am so sorry. <laughs> One number was off there. That is really important <laughs> because that's this weekend. So taking place this weekend and we really appreciate you sure. first of all correcting me and also being here this morning. So yeah. let's just start broadly. Why is talking about suicide and suicide prevention and recognizing maybe signs that somebody is contemplating taking their own life so important. Why is it so important to talk about it openly? Well, we know from uh, research that when you have these open conversations, it actually relieves the pressure and the stress from someone who may be having a mental health crisis. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they're kind of suffering in silence. They don't feel comfortable coming forward and talking about it. And for that reason, they're not getting connected to help. So when we start these conversations, it's actually a relief. We know that we should be very direct when we ask. It's actually okay to say, are you thinking of killing yourself? Are you thinking about taking your life? Uh, that is a relief to them. And then we can get them connected to the help that they need. And if they say, if you ask, which, you know, for years, decades, people would never ask that, but sure. now that is being told you should ask. If some you ask and somebody says yes, then how do you follow up? I think you want to take it seriously. You don't want to say, oh, you would never do that. You want to respect where they're coming from and you want to sit with them and be with them. If it's an acute crisis, try to stay with them and stay in touch with them. Try to make sure you've taken any lethal means and put as much distance between them and the human as you can. We know it's an acute crisis. Mm -hmm. So if we can get through that first step, mm -hmm. then stay with them. Try to direct them towards care, therapy, other type of doctor care. Think of it just as similar as a physical health care element. What are some risk factors, if that is the proper terminology, and also some warning signs? I mean, you guys could maybe you handle risk factors? Yeah, so risk factors are things that people just kind of already have going on in their life that can lead them. So that's a family history of mental health or a suicide attempt. It could be environmental factors such as job loss or a relationship loss. Um, so those are the kinds of like just life events, uh, life situations that can pose uh, a risk factor. Physical health conditions too actually are a risk factor too. Okay, and so. warning signs? Warning signs, you know, if they start acting differently, if they seem off to you, you know, if they if they seem more withdrawn when they're not normally, or if anything just doesn't feel right, feel free to check in with them. If your friend isn't acting like the friend that you know, if your family member is acting slightly differently, that's a good invitation to say, like, hey, how's it going? It doesn't always have to be, I'm very concerned. It can be as simple as just, hey, I just want to make sure you know you can talk to me. How, how are you? Okay, and because you know time is limited uh, here, why don't you guys tell us about the upcoming walk? And I will tell you that my family participated in that walk last year because suicide has impacted my husband's family. Um, and uh, it was quite emotional, but tell, for those who aren't familiar, tell us about the walk. It is a fabulous event, and I'm so glad that you were able to come last year. I think people think maybe, what am I gonna get into if I come to a suicide prevention walk? But it is a fabulous event this Saturday at Montrose Harbor, 9 a.m. is when the site opens. We have lots of great activities activities, a mental health tent, some healing activities, uh, some honor beads, lots of free resources, and really just a lot of support. Wonderful. Yeah, I've been going for 11 years since I lost my sister Alex to mm. suicide, and it still feels just like a big bear hug when yeah. I get out there. Comforting. And it's just unbelievable to have that community of support. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here to talk about this subject, an important subject. 